Hello everyone, my name is Samuel from Nomad Tech, and today I'm going to show you Nomad Panel, the new control software for Nomad Tech CNC machines. It's a very easy to use software and it allows you to exploit the full potential of these machines. The first thing we are going to do is installing the software. It works on Windows PCs running Windows 7 and above, as well as Apple computers with Mac OS 10.7 and above. In this case, we are using Windows 10, and we have already downloaded the installer from the official Nomad Tech website. So we just need to double click it, and we can start the installation. Next. Next again. And then we click on finish, and we have already installed it. In case we are using a Mac computer, we would need to open the DMG package and move Nomad Panel to Applications. Now we open the program. In the main window, the first thing we can see is this grey screen, which is a 3D view of the CNC jobs that have been loaded. At this time, it's blank because we haven't loaded any job yet. We can also see here a representation of the machine tool. While the machine is working, we can watch it moving in real time along the current path of the job, at the same time as the actual tool. If we get lost in the 3D view, we can always double click and we will come back to the default top view. On the left side, we see the different tabs available in the program, which we will comment soon, as well as the go and stop buttons. Ok, now we pay attention to the top side of the program. Here we can see the current position coordinates of the machine in X, Y and Z axis. We can also see here the current state of the machine, which is now disconnected. So the next step will be establishing connection with the machine, which we have already plugged into the computer with a USB cable. In this tab down here, called Settings, we can connect the machine. Here we see a list of the communication ports of the computer. We select the correct one for our machine and we click on Connect. Now we can see that the machine state became idle because now it's already connected and waiting for orders. Now we move on to the jobs tab where we can load the G-code files that we previously prepared in the design program. In this case, I've prepared a Nomad Tech logo with the Inkscape program and the Nomad Tech CNC plugins, as you can see here. For loading a new job, we click here, and we can see how it appears on the 3D view. Here we can also receive information about the estimated machine time for each job. It's worth noting that we can load several jobs at the same time. This allows us to send all of them to the machine with a single click on the Go button, and the machine will process them sequentially. We're going to load a second job now. At this moment, both of them can be seen in the 3D view. With these buttons, we can activate or deactivate jobs. The deactivated jobs won't be sent to the machine when clicking the Go button. If we select one of the jobs, we can see that new options appear. We can delete a job from the list with this button here change the color of the 3D representation with this other button, or position the job origin at the coordinates we want. 
We usually keep the job origin at zero coordinates, so they are the same as the machine zero, but it's also possible to write here an offset to apply to the job in any of the three axes. The origin here button writes the current machine coordinates as the job origin. It's very important to check the job origin before launching it, in order to avoid undesirable results. Also, when a job is selected, it's possible to see its dimensions in the 3D view. Please note that these dimensions show the total axis travel within this job, thus they won't be exactly the same as the result measurements. The next tab, Controls, lets us to send direct orders to the machine, to help us position the tool on the material and other useful tasks. In the top part, we find the manual movement patterns of x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. In addition to these buttons, we can use the PC keyboard for the same movements, using arrows and numeric keyboard. If we gently push the buttons, we can move precisely, and to go faster, we just need to push them for a longer time. In the 3D view, we can see the tool moving at the same time as the actual machine does. In this box, we can send the machine different common orders, like establishing a new zero position for the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, or the three of them at the same time. If we look at the 3D view, we can see how the machine coordinates become zero when clicking here. We can also move the machine tool to the last establish zero coordinate with these two buttons. We can also perform a homing sequence with this button here, available only for CNC models with end stops, and disable the alarm state if it's on. We'll talk later about this alarm state. Lastly, down here we can modify in real time both the working feed rate and the spindle RPM also known as the rotational speed. The spindle RPM value can only be modified on CNC machines with automatic spindle control, and it won't work if we are using an external milling motor with its own rotational speed control. The monitor tab is designed only for advanced users, and there we can see the G-code commands sent to the machine. It's also possible to send manual commands here. Now we are ready for launching our first job in the machine. We must position the serial coordinates correctly. We check that the job origin is well established. We turn on the spindle if it is externally controlled. And finally, we click at Go. We can watch the 3D view now, and we'll see how the drone tool moves, following the actual machine tool. At any time, we can pause the job with this button, and then continue again. The proper and usual way to stop a running job is to pause it first, and then stop. If we click Stop directly, it's considered an emergency stop and the software will enter alarm state, as you can see now. We should disable the alarm by clicking this button in control stop. We launch the job again, but this time we'll select the second one we loaded before. We go to the job stop, we disable the previous one, and we leave only the second one. We check again the serial coordinate, the job origin, and then go. At the end, the program shows this message. Now we are ready for checking the result and prepare a new operation.
This has been all for today. As you can see, the program is simple but powerful. We hope this video was useful for you, and thanks for watching.